I'm gonna be honest before we start. I'm not really a Family Guy fan. The first two seasons of the show I think are really good, but anything after that is just something I'm not a fan of. There's exceptions with an episode here and there, but overall, I'm definitely more of a Simpsons guy, or a South Park guy, or a, a Rick and Morty guy, or, or a Futurama guy. Anything besides Family Guy, really. So what in the name of Bob Ross is making me play and review the Family Guy PS2 video game? Well, when you have a friend who tells you that Family Guy is better than The Simpsons, you can't help but feel the need to prove him wrong. You know who you are. You know what you've done. This is, this is your fault. Family Guy the video game is a mixed bag. On one hand, there are some genuinely funny moments scattered throughout. I'm not the father, Joe. Unless you can prove that, Brian, we gotta lock you up. Damn it, a speed bump. Who's the wise guy that put this speed bump here? It's not funny! Horowitz, I'm looking at you! Yeah, oh, yeah, laugh it up, guys! This is in poor taste! On the other hand, the gameplay is so repetitive and clunky that it just isn't any fun to play like at all. But before we rip this game a new one, you know we gotta look at the story. The game opens up with Peter hosting a week-long Mr. Belvedere marathon using his PTV satellite dish. Meanwhile, upstairs, Stewie has just completed his mind control helmet and is about to use it using Peter's satellite dish. But Bertram shows up and is like, eh, I want the satellite dish. Stewie's like, I'd rather destroy- this is, I was, That was supposed to be a, a Stewie impression. Let me, I'm just not gonna do impressions. Uh, Stewie's like, I'd rather destroy it than let you have it. And Bertram is like, ha, stupid bitch, I tricked you into destroying yours. Now I can take over the world or whatever. Peter is taken to the hospital because the satellite dish falls on him. And Stewie follows because he needs to infiltrate Bertram's lair in Peter's testicles. Peter wakes up in the hospital with Stewie inside him. Uh -huh. And it's like, Mr. Belvedere kidnapped my family and everyone is an enemy. Uh, wait, I'm jumping ahead. Uh, meanwhile, Brian is arrested for getting Seabreeze pregnant, and he has to prove his innocence by finding evidence. He follows the trail and reveals that Quagmire is the father, and that is Brian's totally pointless story. I'm not even kidding. That's where it ends. It's not worth getting into it any more than that. Back to Stewie and Peter. Uh, Peter is hit by a door when a black family opens it, and then he sees himself as Rufus Griffin. This feels, this feels, this feels racist. Is this racist? I don't know. He then goes to a casino where a suicidal hooker falls on him, and he then sees himself as a hooker all while beating innocent people in his path to revenge maybe the hookers were inside us all along <laughs> Stewie fights his way to Peter's testicles, and I can't believe I just said that. Stewie finds Bertram's plans in a new lair and blows up the lair inside Peter. Bertram is ready to launch a, a rocket with Rupert attached to it, with the rocket going to release like some mind-controlling uh, uh, something. Uh, Stewie defeats him, but before he can kill him, Bertram pulls out his super secret last stand. You've defeated me fair and square. I have no option but to do this. Mommy! Oh, that is such a vagina thing to do! Uh, Peter thinks he's become an android and starts beating people up on the pier and the beach. He fights the Black Knight, is knocked out by the helmet at the end of the fight, and when he wakes up, Lewis is like, Ah, oh, Peter, you and your shenanigans. Peter drowns his sorrows, but Mr. Belvedere shows up. Oh, God, he's real, and unmasks himself. And he's the chicken that Peter always fights, which then becomes the final battle of the game. At the end, the, the Mr. Belvedere spotlight that Peter has been following that he kept seeing shows up again, but it's revealed that it's just Adam West doing is Mr. Belvedere hand shadow puppet impression. The end. <laughs> Man, this is even better than. Uh, no, wait. No, this is worse than. <laughs> The story is mindless and more of an excuse to just go from one place to another, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me laugh at least a few times throughout. The gameplay switches between three different styles of play. Peter has a beat em up Streets of Rage style of gameplay with some special attacks that can be performed by eating enough food and filling up his special meter. Brian has stealth based levels with disguises that can be used and a urine meter that you need to keep an eye on or else Brian will drop his disguise and pee on a nearby plant, thus risking getting caught. Holy shit, my dog's peeing as I'm reading that. 
Stewie has shooting base levels that are closer to Galaga than anything, with some minor exploration to find these little like yellow things that upgrade your weapon the more you collect. Stewie's levels are definitely my favorite, especially since his gameplay actually changes up. You'll have these sections where you slide around wet surfaces and have to avoid obstacles while still collecting upgrades. Uh, you can mind control other characters, which leads to these short challenges to continue the story or just mini basic puzzles. It's nothing special, but it definitely feels like the most attention was given to Stewie. But at the end of the day, the gameplay for all three is just not that good the jumping is not trustworthy at all it doesn't feel good and, and you have this shadow to tell you where you're going to land when you're jumping and using your balloon thing but even then sometimes it's just not trustworthy or it just it's stupid it's bullshit the camera is also a fucking nightmare since during some shootouts you'll be shot from off screen and with the controls being clunky enough as it is you'll find yourself having some bullshit ass deaths in this game and if you die you restart from the last checkpoint which wouldn't be that bad if you didn't lose every upgrade little item you collected and have to like have to co recollect like that's that's bullshit this isn't dark souls family guy don't try to be elden ring now all of a sudden peter's gameplay isn't bad but it also isn't good like at all it's like closer to bad than it is to good but it's like barely bad you know you get me you get what i mean you got square to punch circle to kick you can pick up items and throw them you fill up your special meter and in later levels it's upgraded so you can do even more special moves in a row the controls here kind of suck though none of your hits ever have any weight to them and it doesn't feel good to hit anyone and unlike stewie's it never changes up aside from the way peter looks while he's fighting and it gets repetitive super fucking quick and levels go on for way too long but on the bright side we get to see peter take a ship multiple times in the stories <laughs> I guess there's also this bullshit part where I died and when I reloaded these two cops wouldn't load in anymore so the game was like eh, you can't make progress until you kill these two cops but I couldn't because they wouldn't load in and I reloaded the game reset my ps2 multiple times but it just wouldn't fucking let me progress so I had to reset the whole game Brian has hands down the worst of the worst levels in this game aside from his story feeling somehow more pointless than the other two stories his levels are incredibly slow buggy janky and fucking boring dude you can't even tell where enemies are looking so it's a guessing game if you're safe to run across because sometimes you'll get caught by someone who i swear wouldn't be able to fucking see me did you guys hear my my, my puppy bark i'm leaving it in that is a cute ass bark watch i can you guys i can get him to fucking intermission but i can get him to bark at me watch bark 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 yeah getting him getting him to stop is the challenge hey Shut up! There's things about Brian's levels that did make me laugh. Uh, for example, when you're escaping from jail and one of the inmates that hung himself sees me it, and I get caught, that, that caught me off guard and I got a chuckle out of me. Uh, Brian also has a urine meter where if you're near plants, Brian will lose control, drop a disguise he was wearing and start peeing, which puts you at risk of getting caught. And I don't mind this meter, it definitely adds a small bit of strategy to the way you approach your escape, but everything else is so slow and boring and getting caught and having to do it again doesn't feel like a challenge when the gameplay is so monotonous. It's just, it ruins the rest of the things that do work. It brings them down. I haven't even talked about cutaways, have I? That was weirder than that television special on fire trucks. A solitary killer, the fire truck stalks its prey. And these cutaways are easily the best part. That was more pathetic than that game of Marco Polo I played with Helen Keller. Marco, 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 Marco. What? The, they're these quick blinking and you miss it style mini games that even sort of remind me of something like WarioWare. If you succeed in the cutaway, you get an upgrade to your character. Stewie gets 10 bonus little upgrade things. Brian becomes invisible for a few seconds. And Peter gets a boost of food, letting him quickly gain access to his special attack. It's a fun way to incorporate a pretty big part of the show. And I'm glad that it at least works when it comes to the gameplay, which is more than I can say for like the rest of the fucking game. <laughs> Excuse me, I died. How did I die? Did I catch chlamydia? 